Thank you very much. My name is Deborah Altschuler. I'm a state representative, and I have an F from the NRA. I have never been so proud to have an F. I am also the lead sponsor of the red flag law that we actually passed here in New Hampshire because you all showed up. We filled Representatives Hall with hundreds of red t-shirts, hundreds of people with Moms Demand um, stickers on them. Hundreds of you wrote in and we passed that law. And and we were on the precipice of having a red flag law here in New Hampshire to protect people who are a danger to themselves and to others around them. And Governor Sununu vetoed it. Last July, he vetoed it. He never misses a chance to get rid of what little gun violence prevention we have and to make our streets, our homes, our schools more dangerous. Vote him out. I want to thank Representative Muse, who also, in the pantheon of uh, uh, ratings, has an F from the NRA. We are so proud of that. Right now, around, um, uh, around the crowd here, there are some postcards going around. These postcards are urging Governor Sununu to veto House Bill 1178 that you just heard about from David. Please sign a postcard and come up here and put it in the box. We will be delivering these postcards en masse. You don't have to mail it. You don't have to put a stamp on it. Just bring it back up here. We have pens up here too. So please bring them back. Last week I was uh, working at a seacoast school and um, a high school and they told me that they used to have nine fire drills a year. Nine. And now they have five fire drills a year. The school has never been on fire. It has never had even a whiff of smoke in their kitchen, but they still practice, they still practice, but now they have five fire drills and four active shooter drills. It's wrong, it's absolutely wrong. I have worked in a Seacoast elementary school and let me tell you the impact of having to find a space with a bunch of kindergartners up against a wall without a window and telling them to please keep their voices down during an active shooter drill? It's wrong. We've had enough. We've had enough. I don't want to hear a single person complain to me about how traumatized their kid is from having to wear a mask during a pandemic, but they're okay with having active shooter drills. I'm done. We've had enough. Our kids, enough is enough. This is the 154th day of the year and 27 American schools have had mass shootings. Last year there were 36. We only have eight more to go before we break the record and we don't want to break that record. Enough is enough. In 27 schools, Teachers have huddled children against the wall, drawn the curtains, and been quiet. In 27 schools, children have called 911. Children have smeared blood on themselves from their dead friends so as not to be discovered by a mass shooter. Enough is enough. In 27 schools, children have jumped on toilet seats to hide themselves so they can't be seen underneath the stall or above. In 27 schools, children who were in the hallway when the mass shooting began ran up and down the hallway looking for an open space, an open door, because the doors have been shut to protect other kids. Enough! is enough. 
in 27 schools in the United States of America, custodians have had to go in, pick up backpacks, lunch boxes, computers, toys that were in those backpacks, jackets, and clean them up so that the crew that cleans up crime scenes can come in and start scrubbing the blood off the walls and lifting pieces of flesh from blown apart children. Enough is enough. No more euphemisms. These children were slaughtered. Our fellow Americans are being slaughtered and we're done. We are done. We desperately need you to vote. You have to vote. You have to normalize what we are doing right here. I'm so glad to see so many orange t-shirts and so many stickers and so many buttons, but wear them somewhere else. Wear them to the grocery store. Wear them to your select board meeting. Wear them to your children's soccer practices. Wear them when you come here to watch a play or a concert. Wear them everywhere. Normalize talking about ending gun violence prevention because enough is enough. And vote. And vote. You cannot stay home. Bring someone with you. And when someone else tells you that they are just tragically disengaged, that it doesn't matter because nothing changes anyway, you know why it can't change? Because the NRA is in charge. And unless you have more of us voting in more people with an F on the NRA report card, it will stay like this. You have to to vote. So please, fill out these postcards. Make sure that you call 603-271-2121 and veto House Bill 1178, because enough is enough. Thank you. All right.